I have a lot of visions for 2020, but did I put it on a but like this? We're about to find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is from TS from TS to the Red. Today I'll be talking about vision board. Yes, vision board. So who creates vision boards? Do you believe in it? Why do you create vision board? Does it actually work? Have you ever seen somebody who created one and it works for them? So all of this and so much more and what I thought about it, if I've ever created one and why I think does it even matter? So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So vision board, as the term says, your vision and then putting it on the board. Your favorite YouTuber, somebody you know might have created one and then it makes you believe that you can do it. Yes, your favorite YouTuber created it. And what work are they putting into it? So I am going to go into details of that. So if somebody say, create a vision board, hang it by the wall, walk by it every day, your vision is possible and it could come true, think about it again. Those people, how many hard work are they putting? And how are you working now to get your vision board? And do you believe in vision board? Yes, I said believe. If you're a believer, yes, a whole lot of things are going to come through because you believe in it and you're always constantly thinking about it and pray about it, yes, you have to believe in something. People will say, oh, you believe in the universe, you believe in this. Something will bring it to you. Yes, but be careful what you wish for because when something brings something to you and it's not, you attract something into your life, somehow, some way, I've seen people and I've heard people say they attract it by whatever law and then they never know, they did not know where that went. Like everything they attract just disappeared. So as a believer myself, do I think that making a vision board means that your vision is going to come true? No. I have never created one and 90% of my vision came through this year. I visualize, I manifest, yes, and all that came through. I talk about manifestation in one of my videos. If you have not seen that, go check it out. So with all this I am saying, it's not that I am telling you not to make one. Your vision is definitely there, but you putting it on the board, or you put it on the board or put it on the plate or whatever, a key tag, even you can put it on a sign like this, whatever, hang it anywhere, put it anywhere. If your vision is going to come through, it's going to come through. And your vision, it's what makes you strive and makes you want to work hard. So if you see somebody whose vision came through, they work hard and with prayer and believe, yes, it's going to come through. So for vision board, for those who create vision board, definitely believes there's something that's going to come out of vision board. Yes, obviously. So when creating a vision board, there are rules. Why should there be a rules when I'm creating my vision board? If I'm making my vision off my head, there should be a rule. I'm just making it and I'm working towards it. But if you're putting it on the board, there are rules. And the rules are just simple. It just have to be specific when you're making those rules, when you're making vision boards. Be specific meaning you think about it, you visualize it, and you specifically target what exactly you want to attract to yourself. So if I want to attract a car, for instance, I Google the car, which by the way, I don't think that makes sense. I'd rather walk to a car dealer and look at the car probably online first then go to the dealer visualize myself in front of it, sit in the car, because actually it's free. I can actually go there and then test drive it, you know, just like thinking that my being, I'm already manifesting it and it's going to come through because I'm right there. It's right in front of me. So yeah, so that is the exception of putting it on the board. You visualize it and be specific means I want this car, maybe a Mercedes Benz 2020, and then you put it on the board, put it right there. You have it. So for me, like I said, I would definitely don't want to put it on a board. I'd rather walk through the dealer. Yes, that's me. So that is one thing. Be specific about what you want. If it's a house, you Google the same house. Is this kind of house also specification? Three bedroom, condo, um, a building, an apartment, you know, all of the stuff. You visualize it, you Google it, you put it on a board, and then you have it. You already put that in it. In fact, sometimes I think you should also consider the price too. You should look at the price. Like, okay, this is my target. This is my goal because you have to know what you're working with. Yeah. 
So me putting somebody's house or some image from Google, uh, I was just thinking about it. Like me walking through the neighborhood that I think I can leave, that I wanted to leave, that I wanted to buy a house on, that could be a good thing for me. That is an example of me visualizing. And then, yes, after visualizing stuff, and I then walk by it, and then that is, I'm attracting it. I'm I'm not actually going to think about it more because I walk by it and it's not on the board. Yes, when it's on the board, you can walk by it every day. It's the same thing. But for me, every day walking by my vision, when it's already embedded in my head, it doesn't make a difference. So that's why I said, do I make a vision board? No, I did not still. And 90% of my vision came through this year. In 2021, am I still going to make a vision board? I don't think so. I don't because I never had one and my visions came true. But never say never. If you are the kind of person who believes that vision board works, go for it. But mind you, you have to work hard. Like I said, believe in yourself, your faith, your struggle, your also is also going to make it work for you. What if the vision board don't work? I'll get into that later. But as I said, with vision board, you have to have a target and be specific. So I already talked about the house, the car. So whatever you want, the vision board can contain. You can put it on a paper, like I said, on a glitter paper, on a board. I have tons of this. So yeah, you can put it on something like this. And you can put it on a cardboard, like I said, the one I showed previously. You can even put it on a key tag. But mind you, all of this, you're putting it out there and you want it to work. But you just have to know exactly what you want. It's as simple as that. When you make your vision board and you place everything the way they should be placed, what is the most important is what you should put first. If it's a car that you need that's most important, that's your first goal. If you if it's vacation you want, Google the vacation, take it, print it out, and put it on the board. And it doesn't matter if it's like colored or white. Vision is vision. It's going to come true anyways if you walk to, towards it. Yes. So all of this and so much more. For vision board in general to work, the hard work, please. Don't let nobody tell you that otherwise. Those who the vision, their vision came through, look at them where they are today, what they've been putting in. And if actually it works like in a year or two, if yours come through in a year, yes, you did a great job. If yours did not come through in a year and you're still working towards it, keep on doing it. But if it did not work out in a year or two and you're frustrated, because that's going to come with the, with the vision. That is definitely going to come with the vision. So, yes, if it doesn't come through two years, you just need to relax and <laughs> keep going because it's just a vision. Whether it is coming through or not, you just know that it is life and you have to work hard and continue to do whatever you do. So vision board, I have had my vision without the board. So that is why I think that the vision on its own, it's alone what you can work with without the board again. So if you want to put it on the board, so be it. So if you put it on the board, that could help remind you of what you want but the key here is having a vision board is just one out of many options if your vision is to hone this to do this and you're working towards it with or without a board it will come through so if you're like me who don't believe in it but still you don't need one so making a board on putting up whatever you want to put it Walking by it every day is a motivational factor for you. Go ahead and do it. If it's not, if it's just like a reminder, it's just like a regular reminder, why bother though? Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing, click the notification, and give this video a like. So that is all I have for you about Vision Board, and I hope it makes sense. <laughs> all right, see you later. Bye bye.